Siko nataka ikuwe clip ya Clip ya machozi I wanted it to be filled with hope But Where I'm at I'm so frustrated by How expensive healthcare is Niaje humans Mmekua aje Mimekua Poa na sio poa Nasema leo nikuje ni wasalimie I've been going through a really hard time <laughs> in and out of hospital. Na sijakuwa na time ya ku update. Najua niliwa promise I will show you the insides of what a cancer patient goes through. Sultan actress Winnie Ndubi Bwira has passed on. Her death was announced by the family on Thursday morning. The actress succumbed as she underwent cancer treatment in Turkey. The family thanked all who supported the actress as she battled the killer disease. It is said more details will be issued later on. Her death comes barely a month after she appealed for financial assistance to continue with her cancer treatment. Duby was seeking Kenya shillings 5 million to cover the cost of her treatment including accommodation and meals during her stay. In her last video appealing for help which was shared on her social media pages on August 14th, the actress explained that she was doing well with her medication until the, she began experiencing side effects. She said her doctors advised her to stop taking the medication although she had secured visas for her treatment abroad. She said financial constraint held her back. Na sijakuwa na time ya ku update. Najua niliwa promise I will show you the insides of what a cancer patient goes through. But some days it gets so serious that we can't film. Nime discharge you a juicy. I'm so happy about that. I'm feeling upbeat. I'm back to exercising. I I got struck by dengue yeah, dengue fever, but sai imepotea to seme apetete yangu merudi. I really thank God for all those um, small things. Winnie Bwira was a Kenyan actress who showed to her fame for her role as Dida in the popular citizen TV drama series Sultana. Bwira's account to cancer today, Thursday, 5th September 2024, while receiving treatment in Turkey. Her family announced the sad news to her followers, thanking them for supporting her. Bwira started her art at the age of six when he, she would do poems and plays. Her first professional screenplay was in Kenyan project dubbed Benzi in 2024, 2014, where her star started shining. And then she featured in other projects like Tehanin, Kisasa, Kalimani Dynasty, and Sultana. Bwira had been in a romantic relationship with Dan Song before the two called it quits in 2023. She was battling metastatic breast cancer, which according to Cancer Net is when breast cancer spreads to an area further from where it started to another part to, of the body. She had previously made appeals to settle her medical bills. The late Winnie Buirundumbi, popularly known as Dida, was a versatile cost-based actress, artist born in the 1980s. She possessed a multitude of talents and excelled in various artistic fields, including acting, scriptwriting, songwriting, singing, painting, and interior designing. Additionally, she was a skilled baker, businesswoman, and a devoted mother, she had a bachelor degree in industrial fine art and design from Makerere University. I was doing very well on my medication until I developed quite a series of uh, side effects from the drugs that I was being treated from. Um, this drug that I was taking, you cannot believe, it can, uh, over 41 side effects and there's not uh, you can't tell nigani takugonga so you experience some of them at, at a certain period in a badilike na kwa nyingine so that's what i've been struggling with and i consulted with my doctors and they told me to stop to stop that medicine na nirudi nitritiwe ukule sasa taki i have racked my brain on how that is going to happen there's only one place I know, my people, my humans. So I'm coming back to you.
asking for support um last uh time it went really well the first phase of treatment went really well the second phase in the complications but the doctors are, are ready and willing and on standby to rectify that we've looked for visas we've got them like in sasa finances ni challenging Dida's artistic journey began at a young age where her passion for the arts was evident. Her parents recognized her talents and provided the necessary resources and unwavering support to nurture her abilities. They encouraged her participation in plays and poetry from the age of six, even enrolling her in holidays programs to further and enhance her skills. Buire's professional acting career commenced in 2014 where she made her screens but on the series Benzi aired on her yet. TV. Subsequently, she appeared in other productions such as Kisas and Tahanin on Maisha Magic East. She furthered her acting powers by joining the Kilimani dynasty on KTN before landing her most beloved role as Dida in the hit Swahili tele telenovela Sultana on Citizen TV. In Sultana, Dida portrays a complex character deeply in love with Jabal Jr also known as JJ I have nothing to give you in return but you will save my life Nasikwa nataka ikwe Sikwa nataka ikwe clip ya Clip ya machozi I wanted it to be filled with hope but where I'm at I am so frustrated by how expensive healthcare is. And every time I feel like I've made 10 steps forward, I feel like I'm being dragged back 8 steps. And I ask for strength. I thank you so much for praying with me. I am utmostly grateful. The actress was diagnosed with its stage 4 breast cancer in 2022. In a previous interview, she said that she laughed when doctors gave her a positive cancer diagnosis report. In December 2023, Buire Ndubi reached out to the public seeking 7 million Kenya shillings for essential medication treatment abroad, which was successfully fast forward To August 2024, the actress once again appealed to her fans for financial help, this time to raise 5 million Kenya shillings. However, barely a month after the appeal, Winnie family announced her death in Turkey Hospital. Quick facts about Winnie Buire beyond her professional achievements. Winnie Buire Dobi possessed a few intriguing quicks. In real life, Buire Ndubi found love and comfort with Dan Songo, a talented coastal actor known for his roles in the regional production. The relationship began after Dan endured the heartbreaking loss of his first wife, who passed away while giving birth to their second child in 2017. Buire met Dan during his healing process as he tried to rebuild his life, leading to their paths crossing. After two years together, the couple faced significant challenges when Dan began struggling with the mental health issues. In July 2023, Dan Song announced that he had ended his relationship with Buire. 